Robert Griffin III and Steven Strasburg have shown flashes of brilliance early in their career, but you've also been disappointing at times, largely because of injury. Des, I'll start with you. Between Strasburg and Robert Griffin III, who you see being in Washington longer term? Uh, reluctantly, I'm going to go with Griffin. <laughs> I think uh, the Nats are going to have a choice to make, I think, at the end of the season between Jordan Zimmerman and Strasburg. And I think, especially if Strasburg keeps sort of muddling along and having this weird season, and there's a lot of speculation that he'd rather play on the West Coast anyway. Which is think, where he's from. Yeah, yeah so I think there's a good chance they'll pick Zimmerman, or maybe they'll do something else altogether. But I think with, uh, with RG3, obviously he needs to play better to stay in the lineup. Uh, but the Redskins could be facing a decision after the season as well. I mean, they will because they're going to have to decide whether to renew his contract for 2016 or not. But I think Dan Snyder could easily be faced with a decision of, do I pick Jay Gruden or do I pick Griffin? And I think as things stand now, he'll pick Griffin. Keith, you, are you in, on board with that? Or? No, I actually think Strasburg will be around longer because it, it, if you... <laughs> You're, we're allowed to have different opinion here, Des, believe it, it or not. If you take the, you know, if you step back a little bit, there was the, the article that ran in Monday's paper that, that Kilgore wrote about the, you know, the five years of, of yeah. Steven Strasburg. Mm -hmm. He actually hasn't been that bad. You know, there's been the, this stretch this season, the 6.55 ERA is bad. But, but over time, you know, he led the league in, in strikeouts last year. He hasn't been that bad. And now that he's not, he doesn't have to be the guy, right? You have Scherzer. Yeah. Um, you know, even if Zimmerman leaves, you still have, uh, you know, Gio and, and, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with Fister either, but they have Giolito and they have guys coming up through the system. So they don't need Strasburg to carry the team. They, right. they should have offense going in the future, too, the, as Harper and Rendon and, and the other hitters improve. So they don't, they, they, the problem is that the Redskins need a guy. They, you know, you, in the NFL, you can't win if, if you don't have a competent quarterback. And so if we don't see those steps from Griffin this season, even though, he, uh, they have the option on him to, uh, to, to keep him for one more year after that. You kind of can't keep floating in the wind. The, the, the Redskins can't. They either have to know they have the guy or they have to find the guy. Well, Neil, you, you get the tie-breaking vote here. Is it Strasburg or RG3 long-term in D.C.? It's clearly Strasburg. I mean, <laughs> he's been better than good. He's been one, when healthy, he's one of the best pitchers in baseball. I mean, he, he led the league in strikeouts last year. When you look at his career as a whole, He's like in the top 25 of pitchers. Griffin is not even in the top 25 of quarterbacks. But and there's only 30 teams that play one of them. But, the, but the, aren't, aren't the Nationals going to have to make a decision, on, at least theoretically, between Strasburg and Zimmerman? Right, but the decision is, do we keep one of the better pitchers Here's, in baseball, or if you're the Redskins, do you pick a, pick a guy <laughs> that's you yeah, know, been that's struggling and has shown little, if any, ability to be a quarterback at the pro level. I mean, this is not a, this is not a difficult decision but to the, make. The first, the first side is Strasburg has to want to come back to the Nets, too. I mean, if he's a free agent yeah. after 2016, he has Nets. to also want to sign But he's with still the under team. team control. But, I mean, the whole the, – the Nets have made this team – in, as a pitching-centric team, right? I mean, they're not going to have the offense that's going to overwhelm Major League Baseball. They've built this. They got Scherzer. They have Zimmerman, who may or may not go. But Strasburg is a clear number two starter when healthy. How is this even up for debate? Is is Zimmerman not their second? Is Zimmerman not their number two starter? Currently, I mean, currently, that's what right, I'm saying. But I mean, no, I'm saying currently, but I'm saying when healthy. Uh, with, right. I mean, okay. he he can easily be that guy. I mean, there's. I don't understand like why people are so down on Strasburg. He's one of the better pitchers <laughs> in baseball.